how was uh, getting uh, a bit naked for a GT shoot? How was that for you? It was my first time. Was it? Yeah, a bit shy. I enjoyed working with you, getting my perv camera in there. Did you? A little bit. I, you know. That microphone. It's a very big microphone. Away. Steady. Family show. Um, <laughs> show. <laughs> Tanya and Greg seem to have been on the sidelines at the moment because they're not living on the square. Um, will they be getting into the thick of the action soon, do you think? I hope so. Um, I was just saying um, to your other chap, uh, Darren, it, it's it's funny because people want to know what's going on at the moment and there's been a big press release that I'm in EastEnders and I, yes I keep getting extended but I think everything's all very much a, a case of uh, I had lots of prior work commitments before I came in so I'm in then I'm out for a bit then I'm back in uh, Joe Joyner who plays Miles Green fiance is also just come back from maternity leave and so we're kind of a bit like oh, 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 you know so we, we haven't quite hit the ground running as a couple but yes um, I'd like to think that our future would sustain a, a very healthy long-term relationship, but I have no idea what they've got planned. Um, I know that I've been introduced uh, as a new character, as a fiancé, mm. so I'd hope that things continue. And I keep getting extended, so it looks hopeful. Nice. Um, I've just started a new block that films uh, over the Christmas episode at the moment. So, um, yeah, I think I'm next on screen on the mid-late December. No, mid, I think it's mid-December, yeah. And that carries on through until probably about... Well, we're kind of up to January at the moment, so... Yeah, it's good. We're having, having a lot of fun working up there, and they're a really good bunch of people. And there's an actor who just wants to kind of turn up to work, do a good job, go home again, uh, spend good time with his his uh, family. Um, I couldn't be doing a better a better job. It's close to home. I don't have to uproot my entire mm. existence like I did with Hollyoaks. And um, I just got on the motorbike, blast up to Elstree. And it might sound horrifically boring to you, but but for someone who just wants to do the job well and you know and have fun and also I get to stay in London I couldn't ask for more fantastic do you really do you think that uh, Tanya's heart belongs to Greg or do you think she wants to be with uh, with Max you know what I think about that of course I want her to be with Greg <laughs> of course I want her to be with Greg I, Greg loves her Greg absolutely adores Tanya and um, I think she knows that and she probably hasn't ever had that kind of um, doting affection from mm. from a previous partner before um, he's just there as a rock for her, and no matter what happens, uh, he's he's just there no matter what. And I think that's what she, I think that's what she's been after, you know, someone that's going to be true and genuine. We just did some uh, scenes, some Christmas scenes, um, where there was a lot of tension mm. in uh, in one of the setups. There are loads of characters, and you know, <laughs> and, you know, it's really funny. You're on set, and everyone's like. And then uh, you, you know, they sh he shouts cut, and everyone's having a laugh and a bit of banter, and then you know, they shout rolling, and then you know, everyone kind of drops the face and gets back into character again. And it's really nice because when you're shooting stressful stuff or when it's quite tense, you know, it's nice when the camera's not rolling to just kind of be normal again. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to say that? Is that all right? That's okay. And obviously, you couldn't possibly tease us anything about Christmas, could you? Mm, well.